thing. K A baby in this thing. Hey, what's up? What's happening? It's K. I'm back in this thing. Sorry for the background noise. I don't know why every Sunday I fucking record a motherfucker gotta piss a motherfucker up. You know when you know your yeah, parents and shit. And motherfuckers will say some bullshit like, oh, dude. bro, when a motherfucker die, a bullshit happen for some reason in black black households. Some bullshit happen. I don't know why. I don't know why. She wildin'. Hey, man, I ain't care. But anyways, we back in here for the next installment of what's poppin'. Besides my home life, because motherfuckers be pissed off and shit. But we here for what's poppin'. So if I talk a little bit louder than usual, it is what it is. But shout out Gunna Ma, we strong like a Navy, you know what I'm saying? Like, subscribe to all that shit. Talk a little bit louder than usual, I'm just trying to echo out this shit. I'm gonna have to soundproof this room. Ah, the struggles of a small ass YouTuber. The struggles. And COVID, because it's hard to get a fucking rent out of motherfucking spaces, man. So... Hey, life. Life, my nigga. I can sit here and complain all day, but shit. My shit ain't bad as some other niggas, so I'ma just shut up and take the background. I'll probably, probably be like, hey, you a real nigga. Bullshit be happening. Bullshit happened to me. I'ma throw him a subscribe, you know what I'm saying? He real for that. Anyways, we have to talk about this shit. What's popping in the week? I break down the albums that came out. Such and such, and we gonna break all them bitches down, you hear me? So, yeah, we just gonna do that real quick. We gonna go through I Missed Last Week, because I forgot. So, you know what I'm saying? So, we gonna do this shit now. Apparently, Chance the Rapper and Jeremiah dropped a Merry Christmas, Lil Mama tape, mixtape, I don't know what the fuck. First of all, prayers to Jeremiah, I'm happy as all. Hopefully, he continues a great recovery at home and he doesn't get this shit again. You know what I'm saying? This pandemic, hey man. The sickness is real, you know what I'm saying? By the way, tell me in the comments, y'all niggas getting this bullshit? Y'all niggas getting this vaccination? I ain't getting that shit, man. Fuck all that. I ain't getting that shit. But anyways, we got Young Scoot off. Christmas albums I don't really listen to, so I don't give a fuck. So, Young Scooter and Zaytoven, Zay Street. Now, you know what I'm saying? I ain't had time to check this shit out. You know, I learned about it late. I ain't got time, but you know what Young Scooter is? You know, Free Band Gang, you know what I'm saying? Scooter has a couple songs that I fuck with, to be honest. You know, Zaytoven on the beat, we ain't mad at that. So, we're going to see how Scooter does this thing, and we're going to see how Zaytoven does his um, production on this shit. So, we just gonna keep begging, relax, and watch this shit. Matt Ox, Sweet 16. First of all, the nigga 16, I didn't even know. Last time I heard that nigga was on X's tape. The question mark one. I didn't even know the nigga was 16. But hey, man, keep doing your thing. <laughs> shit, go check him out. I ain't, I ain't heard that shit. Go check, bro. I ain't even mad. g Easy Deluxe, don't care. We got Presso with Grinder Express. I'm out of it. The shit slap. I heard a couple singles off the shit. Shit slap. I haven't sat down and listened to the full album. But I know you got some slaps on there. I ain't mad at it. Shout out to the homie Presser. He doing his thing. Ain't even mad at this shit. Anyways, go check it out by the you know <laughs> Nah, nah, go check it out. You know, I support Toronto niggas. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. Fetty Wap, you know the, the the vibes, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna check. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't listen to this. I ain't even know the motherfucker dropped the album. I was just like, oh, drop the tape. I'ma go check it out. I'ma go check it out. We'll see. Now, Mario Judah with the whole lot of red. Hey, I didn't want to touch it. I could make a video on it if y'all really want me to. I didn't want to touch it. Long story short, Playboy Card is supposed to drop a whole lot of red. Apparently, by uh, sources, aka academics, he's dropping it on Christmas. So, Mario Judah, like, hey, you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna drop it? Fuck it. I'm gonna make my own shit and kind of parodied it and did his little thing. That's his business. I can make a video on it if you want me to, and I could really break down the situation more. But yeah, didn't listen to it yet. Kamaya, no explanations, didn't listen to it yet, I'm not gonna lie to you about that, hey, I gotta check out for it, Bia is a name I have heard for a minute, especially with that Russ song that really blew up, you know what I'm saying, between them, let me fix this little shit right here, thank you, um, so, I really gotta go check her out, I gotta go check her out more, she's actually an artist, I have to, I see the name, but I don't look at, so I really gotta go check out her shit more, if you have any Bia songs that are very good and favorite, are your favorites and shit, Tell me so I could actually go check her out. I've heard she's dope, so I really want to go check her out. But yeah, she dropped a tape on uh, album EP. I don't know for sure. For... <laughs> the album's called For Certain. I don't know for sure. I was getting confused. But be uh, for certain or buy it, whatever. But yeah, I'll go check it out. Apparently, she's a singer slash rapper. So we'll see. I just thought she was a singer. But anyways, Bodhi James or real bad Bodhi. You know what I'm saying? They doing this thing. Bodhi James doing this thing, I ain't even mad at it, bro. Keep doing your thing, hey. Good ass tape. Good some rap, good ass rapping on you. I ain't even mad. Are you, this is a tape you really gotta sit down with it. it yeah. It's like, when you just, yeah, like, don't just, I'm gonna turn up. Like, you actually gotta hear what the motherfucker be saying. 
So like I'll suggest like long ass car ride or something, you know, like you just kicking in the house, you know, put the headphones on so you can catch some little shit. Yeah, like actually taking what bro saying, but nevertheless, good ass tape, load the tape, ain't mad at it. Little loaded, you know what I'm saying? Just got on, he dropped the tape. If you wanna know about that video, hopefully it pops up somewhere over here. But yeah. He dropped a little tape, crypt tape, you know what I'm saying? I didn't fully listen to the last project he had. I got like halfway through, I didn't finish listening to it. But yeah, I'll go check this one out. I ain't gonna lie, I didn't listen to this one. Yo, by the way, bro, I fuck with y'all artists. I understand y'all niggas home because of this bandit, but bro, I like that y'all be dropping music, bro. Sometimes it's too much. I ain't get to everything. I ain't gonna lie. There's one nigga, I started his shit in the beginning of 2020. I still haven't finished it. I have to go back and finish his album. It's ridiculous because, yo, so many niggas dropping, you forget. Jack Carlo, that's what they all say. Now, I have a review on this, so I'm not going to give it to you all my points here. But what I will say is it's a good album. It's a good listen. Go pick it up. Me, personally, I kind of liked the EPs a little bit more better. I think he showed more personality on the EPs more. Some of these songs, I feel like, is not a discount version of bigger artists. But I will say, like, oh... I could imagine this artist doing it and doing it better. That's what I will say about it. But yeah. You can also go see my shirt that's up on my page. You know, hopefully pop, my shit pops up here again. Yeah, I kind of broke it down more. What the fuck I had to say. Now we have Kid Cudi, Man on the Moon 3, The Chosen. I actually like this one. See, I loved Man on the Moon 1. Man on the Moon 2, nope. This one is good. It's a good balance. He has some mm. Travis Scott-ish um beats and shit and then he goes into the spacey moon stuff in the second half which i like i ain't even mad at it good thing cut he's back and forth by the way this motherfucker been depressed for years by the way shut the fuck up like <laughs> i'm so sorry my, my my boy should be ain't stupid yeah this motherfucker been depressed for years he just on whatever but yeah, we just gonna kick back and do the thing. But like, yeah, it's a good ass tape. I ain't even mad at it. Really go check it out. If you're a Cuddy fan, you'll probably fuck with this. And if you really don't even know Cuddy, like, still go check it out. There might be something for you on there. I really actually like this tape. You know what I'm saying? Because what was it? Passions, uh, drugs, passion, and demon slaying, some bullshit like that. That shit was basura. Trash, bro. That shit was garbage. So now we came back with this, and this is actually very good. It's still the press, though, which I'm just like, what the fuck? Like I said, rich people can be depressed too. We got Vori with his self-titled joint. Vori. Anyways. Gotta go listen to it. Haven't checked for it. You know, Dream Chasers affiliate. Or he signed. I don't fucking know at this point. But yeah, we just gotta check this shit out. We just gonna see what the fuck gonna happen with this. Um, What else we got? What else we got? What else we got? What else we got? I don't even know. Landon Q is Sapphire. I think he's more of a singer. I wouldn't say he's a he's a rapper, but I gotta go check that shit out. This album I gotta go check out. LSB Kevin Kevin or whatever. Bel Air Baby 2. Gotta go check that shit out. There's another album I skipped. Gotta go check that shit out. You know, Justin Rari dropped it. Youngest in charge of Deluxe. I don't really fuck with Deluxe like that and keep it a buck. Abra Kadabra, you know saying no problem, no problem, you know what I'm saying? Proud of in my environment is a little grime artist. Go fucking hard. That shit go hard. You know what I'm saying? Go hard. If y'all don't like grime music like that, because I, I know like my viewers niggas, oh you can't understand the exit everything. You know, shut the fuck up. This shit tough. This shit tough, my nigga. Actually go listen to that shit. Also while I'm here, young Teflon also dropped Call of Duty 3. Also hard, I fuck with it also. Go check out those two, man. Like, them, them some good, them, got some songs on there, bro. Ain't gonna be hard for you to understand. Rondo Rondo, even though he's a touchy subject at the moment, has dropped before my time up. Before my time's up. You know what I'm saying? He dropped a little tape, you know what I'm saying? Doing his thing. I didn't listen to it yet, because it's not on streaming platforms. You have to go listen to it on YouTube. So after I'm done all the other albums, you know, I'll, go, I'll make my way to YouTube. Go find it, go listen to it, but... Judging from the last albums, if you've heard any of the last Quando Rondo albums, which I enjoyed all, like, if he gives me that type of shit, I'm gonna like it, I fuck with it, you know what I'm saying? So, like, yeah, again, touchy subject, because the whole thing, but hey, it is what it is, bro. We can just now, Currency dropped some projects, we got Welcome to Jet Life Re Recordings, Currency, gotta go check that out. What I heard, I heard half of it, what I heard, Phenomenal Rapper, I was always doing this thing, ain't even mad at it. Just think, and just how the way he moves, and he's like not really effortless, but like he stands out, and he's not really trying to. So go check him out also. And we're getting to the end of this. We got 
What was my nigga name? Oh, yeah. Okay, I seen the deluxe, so I didn't talk about it. But Draco, the ruler, we know the truth. He just got out. He just dropped the tape. So, shout out uh, Draco. I'm not too well versed in him. I heard a couple songs here and there. So, I'm going to really go check out this tape. And really get a feel for him. If you have a tape I should listen to before this one. So, I can really understand who the fuck Draco, the ruler is. Put it in the comments. And let me know what the fuck it is. Let me know what it's about. You hear me? But then we got YF and Lucci wish me well three. And YF and Lucci, he grew on me. I remember the first time I heard the nigga. I'm like, yeah, hey, I really fuck with this nigga like that. But he's grown on me. Especially that, uh, the blank virus pack tape he had. Like, EP, that shit was hard. That shit was hard, so I fuck with this. Wish me well three is cool. It's cool. I ain't even mad at it. It's a cool tape. I'm mad at it. By the way, this motherfucker dropped so much in 2019, bro. I thought some of the albums he dropped were in 2020. I was like, bro, that show 2019? The fuck? Bro, I was so fucking confused. But go check this shit out. Oh, then we got Rico Nasty Nightmare Vacation, which, again, have had a lot of time to go check it out. I will go check it out. Fuck Rico Nasty. I love to see her do her thing. I ain't even mad at her. You know what I'm saying? We're going to add some dope ass shit on here. So we're going to go wait. The Hub, for some reason, released a compilation tape. I don't know what the fuck they on. And then we got Big Gucci Soldier with Swag 3. I don't know if this is an old tape or a new tape, but yeah. Big Gucci Soldier, he out here, man. He's still dropping gems for y'all, man. Big Gucci, you know what I'm saying? Drake! Drake! You know what I'm saying? But that's all that's what was popping this week. Go check all that bullshit out, you know what I'm saying? Come back in, tell me what the fuck you like the most, you know what I'm saying? And do all that stuff we do. Again, sorry for the background noise, motherfuckers. I don't know what happened. Motherfuckers be mad for some fucking reason. I'm sorry about it. But yeah, throw your boy a like and subscribe. Definitely throw your boy a like subscribe if you don't want to hear the background noise. And maybe you do. You just want to be you know about the tea and the bullshit in my life. So, you know what I'm saying? Hey, throw it if you want to know more. But anyways, I'm out for this thing, man. Hey, slime, zoom, peace out. I was a gang. Hey.